Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this digital classroom for the subject control systems. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the two special cases subjected to RH criterion and we also solved few problems of the previous year's VTU University question paper. Today, let us discuss about the applications of RH criterion. The first application is to find the relative stability analysis. First, let us understand the meaning of relative stability analysis. For a given characteristic equation, let us take an example like s, four, s power 4 plus 3 s cube plus 4 s plus 4 is equal to 0. We generate an RH table and we interpret with the RH array by inspecting the sign changes in the first column. And we say that if all the roads are present in the left half of the S plane, then the system is stable. And if the roads lie in the right half of the S plane, then we say that the system is unstable. And also if the roads are in the imaginary axis, we say that the system is marginally stable. And this is with reference to S is equal to 0. That is exactly with the origin as a reference we use to test for stability. Now, if suppose if you have to determine the roots present in the left half of a S plane with respect to this line at which S is equal to minus sigma then how do you determine the stability that is if you take s is equal to minus sigma as a reference where sigma is a constant then here we could able to see a shift from the origin towards the plane s is equal to minus sigma that is this line and if I analyze how many roots are located in the right half of this line, then the routes method can be more effective. And we can, if I analyze how many roots are located in the right half of this line, then the routes method can be used more effectively. And we call it as relative stability analysis. Hence, to find the relative stability of a system about the line S is equal to minus sigma, that is how many roads are located in the right half of this line at S is equal to minus sigma, that is to determine this from the routes array, we have to shift the axis of the S plane at the origin towards S is equal to minus sigma. And then we have to apply a routes array by substituting s plus sigma is equal to 0. Hence, we can take s plus sigma equal to 0 equal to s dash that is another variable. So, if I take plus sigma towards the right side, I get s is equal to s dash minus sigma. As there is a shift, I have shifted to another variable and I have represented in terms of another variable s dash. Now we have to write the polynomial in terms of S dash. We have to replace S by S dash minus sigma. This is just an example. And we have to write the polynomial in terms of S dash. And then we know the procedure. We have to generate the route array from this new equation. Then we have to interpret to the route array looking into the first column of the route array whether there is any sign change or not. If there is a sign change, then you can say that the system is unstable. Now we have to stress upon the system is relatively unstable with respect to the right half of S is equal to minus sigma plane. And the system is unstable. And if the roots 
lies towards the left half of the yes plane at s is equal to minus sigma which means more negative compared to minus sigma then you can say that the system is stable and this concept we call it as a relative stability analysis and the routes array becomes more effective when we use this methodology the next application is to determine the range of the value of k in a practical system an amplifier of variable gain k is introduced as shown in this block the closed loop transfer function of this block is given by c of s divided by r of s is equal to k into g of s divided by 1 plus k g of s into h of s hence the characteristic equation is given by 1 plus k into g of s into h of s is equal to 0. So the location of roots of the above equation are dependent on the proper selection of the value of k. So unknown k appears in the characteristic equation. In such a case, a routes array is to be constructed in terms of k and then the range of values of k can be obtained in such a way that it will not produce any sign change in the first column of the routes array. Hence, it is possible to obtain the range of the value of k for absolute stability of the system using routes criterion. And such a system where stability depends on the condition parameter k is called as conditionally stable system. Now, let us solve few problems related to relative stability analysis and with respect to determining the range of k. Let me take this example. Find the range of k for the system to be stable using RH criterion given g of s into h of s is equal to k into 1 minus s divided by s into s square plus 5s plus 9. So you have been given with g of s into h of s and the variable gain k, unknown quantity k is also given here. So now we have to find the range of k for the system to be a stable. The characteristic equation is given by 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0. Hence let me substitute for g of s into h of s which is given in the question. And let me simplify further. I get the polynomial as s cube plus 5 s square plus s into 9 minus k plus k equal to 0. Now you know the procedure. We have to generate the route array. First we have to fill up the first two rows. So the coefficient of s cube is 1. Coefficient of s square is 5. I have written it here. Then the coefficient of s is 9 minus k. Then we have a constant k. Then to fill up the third row, we know the formula that is 5 into 9 minus k minus 1 into k divided by 5. Hence I get 45 minus 5k minus k divided by 5. Then to fill up the third row second element, we have to trace the pattern 5 into 0 minus 1 into 0 divided by 0. Hence it will be 0. And to fill up the fourth row first element. We have to trace the pattern 45 minus 5k minus k divided by 5 into k minus 5 into 0 divided by 45 minus 5k minus k divided by 5. 45 minus 5k minus k divided by 5 in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled out. Hence I get k. And I told you already that with respect to the row s to the power 0, whatever the constant value specified in the question will be retained here. And the cross diagonal element we could able to see the shift from the first two rows in the beginning towards the last row. You can inspect for any type of characteristic equation represented in a form of a polynomial and once after representing it in a form of a route array, the final s to the power 0 will have the 
constant value which is specified in the given polynomial. You can try for any type of example problems. You can go through my previous videos and inspect the same. From rho s to the power 0, it is very clear that k is greater than 0. Then from rho s to the power 1, we have to look into the first element of the row s to the power n in which 45 minus 5k minus 5 divided by 5 greater than 0. Hence simplifying further 45 minus 6k divided by 5 greater than 0. 5 taken to the other side vanishes. Then we get 45 greater than 6k as I have taken minus 6k towards the right side. Now it is very clear that 45 divided by 6 greater than k. Here k greater than 0 and k is lesser than 45 by 6. Hence I can write the range of k for stability as 0 less than k less than 45 divided by 6 I get 7.5. Let me repeat you again. If I look into the s to the power 0 row k greater than 0. Then if you proceed with respect to the first element of s to the power 1 row, I get 45 greater than 6k. That is 45 divided by 6 greater than k. That is 7.5 is greater than k. And k is lesser than 0. I can combine both and write it as 0 less than k less than 7.5. This is how you have to write the range for k by generating the route array and equating with the range of k. Let me try with another example problem. The characteristic equation of certain feedback control system are given below. Determine the system is stable or not and find the value of k for a stable system. So you are given with the polynomial and we have to determine the stability of the system and in addition to that we have to find the value of k. This is a new thing which has been added up. We know the procedure to check for stability by generating the route array and then interpreting with the first column of the route array inspecting the sign changes in it. So let us solve this problem. The route array is given by, so let us generate the route array. First write the s times s cube s square s1 s to the power 0. Then let us fill up the first two rows. Making use of the given polynomial, the coefficients can be filled up here. s cube coefficient is 1 and s square coefficient is 3k. I have written exactly below this. And s coefficient is k plus 2 and we have a constant 4 here. Now to fill up the third row first element we can trace the pattern 3k into k plus 2 minus 1 into 4 divided by 3k. Hence I get 3k square plus 6k minus 4 divided by 3k. And to fill up the third row second element we can trace the pattern 3k into 0 minus 1 into 0 divided by 3k. Hence, I get 0. Then to fill up the last row first element, you can clearly predict that the constant which specified in the characteristic equation is supposed to appear here. That is the logic I told you. And you can cross verify here once again. The reason is as we have a 0 here and it is shifted diagonally, remember. Hence, we get 3k square plus 6k minus 4 divided by 3k into 4 minus 3k into 0 divided by 3k square plus 6k minus 4 divided by 3k. 3k square plus 6k minus 4 divided by 3k in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled out. Hence, it has been proved here once again. I get s to the power 0 row, the first element as 4. Once after generating the route array, we have to find the range of the value of k. 
and we have to say whether the system is stable or not also. So with respect to the row A square, the first element is 3k. Hence 3k greater than 0, therefore k greater than 0. From s to the power 1 row, 3k square plus 6k minus 4 greater than 0. Further simplification, I get k minus 0 0.5275 into k plus 2.5275 greater than 0. As k has a power of 2, you will get 2 roots once after simplifying. And this is a condition to check for stability. That is the reason why we have taken greater than 0, which means that while we are interpreting with the route array, the first column element should be positive. That is the condition for stability. Hence, whatever element which you could able to see there has to be taken with the analysis of greater than 0. Hence, we can check for stability. And that is the condition for stability. Hence, we get k greater than 0 0.5275 and k greater than minus 2.5275. Or I can write it as k less than 0 0.5275 and k less than minus 2.5275. Hence the range of positive value of k for stability is given by 0 0.5275 less than k less than infinity. And this is the range for stability. Let us take another example problem. A unity feedback control system is characterized by the open loop transfer function given by g of s is equal to k into s plus 13 divided by s into s plus 3 into s plus 7. Using the routes criterion, calculate the range of values of k for the system to be stable. So the first case is to find the range of k which we have done so far with respect to two example problem. The second case is new. We have to try with this. And this is a special case with respect to relative stability analysis. Check if for k is equal to 1, all the roots of the characteristic equation of the APU system are more negative than minus 0 0.5. So it is with respect to the plane S is equal to minus sigma, where sigma is given here as minus 0 0.5. So let us try to solve this problem. Using the routes criterion, calculate the range of k for the system to be stable. That is the first case which we have to do with. So we know the procedure. First you have to write the characteristic equation which is given by 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0. So let us substitute for given g of s and let us simplify this expression. Once after simplification, we get the polynomial s cubed plus 10 s square plus 21 s plus k s plus 13 k equal to 0. That is, for the simplification, I get s cube plus 10 s square plus s into k plus 21 plus 13 k equal to 0. Now we know what you're supposed to do. We have to generate the route array. Then we have to interpret with the first column of the route array. The route array is given by, let us fill up the first two rows from the given characteristic equation. Then to fill up the third row, we know to trace, making use of the formula 10 into k plus 21 minus 1 into 13 k divided by 10. Hence, I get 210 minus 3 k divided by 10. As we don't have any element here on the other side, the next element will be equal to 0. Hence, to fill up the last row, with respect to s to the power 0 row, we have to make use of the previous two rows as a reference and we have to trace the pattern to 210 minus 3k divided by 10 into 13k minus 10 into 0 divided by 210 minus 3k divided by 10. 210 minus 3k by 10 in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled out. Hence, I get 13k. This will be shifted here. And this is the constant which is seen in the characteristic equation and it has been replicated exactly in the 
last row that is the coefficient of s to the power 0 which is the constant value. For stability at s to the power 0 row 13k should be greater than 0. This is the condition for stability. I have repeated you many a times that is while interpreting with the first column of the row array it should be positive sign that is it should be greater than 0. So 13k the condition is greater than 0. That is the reason why we have put up the symbol greater than 0 remember. Then from this it is very clear that k is greater than 0. From s to the power 1 row the first element is 210 minus 3k divided by 10 greater than 0. 10 in the denominator taken to the right side it vanishes. So 210 greater than 3k. After taking 3k towards the right side. This can be further simplified as 210 divided by 3 greater than k. Hence I get 70 greater than k. We can combine both the ranges k greater than 0 as well as 70 greater than 0. Hence I can write it as 0 less than k less than 70 that is the range for stability. So we have done with the first case. So let us try for the second case that is the relative stability analysis. So we have to substitute k is equal to 1 which is specified in the question and in the beginning I told you for relative stability analysis we have to shift the plane from s is equal to 0 from the origin towards s is equal to minus sigma and I told you to replace it with another variable s dash. Hence s will be equal to s dash minus 0 0.5. We have to substitute for s is equal to s dash minus 0.5 in this characteristic equation and you will be getting a new polynomial and once after obtaining the new polynomial you have to generate the route array then interpret to the first column of the route array then we can speak about the stability. After substituting for s is equal to s dash minus 0.5 in the polynomial we get s dash minus 0.5 the whole cube plus 10 into s dash minus 0.5 the whole square plus 22 into s dash minus 0.5 plus 13 equal to 0. For this simplification, s dash cube plus 8.5 s dash square plus 12.75 s dash plus 4.375 equal to 0. You know the formula for a minus b the whole cube. Substitute the formula, simplify further, you will get this expression. Then we have to represent the route array now in terms of s dash as a variable. So s dash cube, s dash square, s dash power 1 and s dash to the power 0. Now let us fill up the first two rows making use of the above polynomial as 1, 8.5, 12.75, 4.37. And we know to fill up the third row first element that is 8.5 into 12.75 minus 1 into 4.37 divided by 8.5. Hence I get 12.235. The next element will be equal to 0. Then to fill up the last row s to the s dash to the power of 0, we should get this constant value. Let us try this 12.235 into 4.375 minus 8.5 into 0 divided by 12.235. As we have 0 here, 12.235 in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled out. You can obtain this constant term here as 4.375. Now let us interpret looking into the first column of the route array. While inspecting the first column, the first element is positive, second one is positive, third one is positive and the fourth one is positive. Hence, there are no sign changes in the first column. No roots of the characteristic equation is to the right of 
s is equal to minus 0.5. Hence, all the roots are more negative than 0.5. That is, with respect to the plane, s is equal to minus 0.5. As there is no sign changes, no roots lie in the right side of this line, s is equal to minus 0.5. Hence, all the roots are more negative. All the roots are more negative than minus 0.5. That is the idea behind it. Let us try with this problem. For a unity feedback system, g of s is equal to k divided by s into 1 plus 0.4s into 1 plus 0.25s. Find the range of values of k, marginal value of k and frequency of sustained oscillation. In addition to finding the value of k and the range of k, the additions in this question is to find the marginal value of k and the frequency of oscillation. The problems which we have solved so far in which we have found the range of k and we say that the range of k is between 0 less than k less than 12 and we mentioned that the system is stable between these two range. The most important thing to be noticed here is, this is just an example, exactly now if you assume that k is equal to 12, exactly at this condition, the system will be marginally stable. That is, exactly at k is equal to 12, we will be getting roots exactly on the imaginary axis which makes the system to be as marginally stable. And if the roots are present on the imaginary axis, that is j omega, we can find the frequency of the sustained oscillation also. So let us try to solve this problem. The characteristic equation is given by 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0, given g of s. And as it is an unity feedback system, I can take h of s is equal to 1. Now, after substituting for g of s and further simplification, I get 0 0.1 into s cube plus 0 0.65 into s square plus s plus k equal to 0. Now, let us generate the route array. You have done n number of problems related to generating the route array. Now, this is not a big deal for you to do with. So, to fill up the first two rows, we know we have to take it from the characteristic equation. And then to fill up the third row, we have to trace the pattern 0 0.65 into 1 minus 0 0.1 into k divided by 0 0.65 and the next element will be 0 and finally we could be able to sh see the shift of this constant value exactly in the last row first element. If you cross multiply 0 0.65 minus 0 0.1 into k divided by 0 0.65 into k minus 0 0.65 into 0 divided by again this element. It will be cancelled out in the numerator and the denominator. Hence, we get k here. Now, let us find the range of k. From s to the power 0 row, k is greater than 0. That is a condition for stability. And from s to the power 1 row, 0 0.65 minus 0 0.1k divided by 0 0.65 greater than 0. 0 0.65 taken to the other side vanishes. Hence for the simplification I get 0 0.65 greater than 0 0.1k taking this to the right side. Then for the simplification I get 0 0.65 divided by 0 0.1 I can write it as 6.5 greater than k. Hence I can write the range of k as 0 less than k less than 6.5. So with the, if k is between this range 0 to 6.5 then I can say the system to be a stable. Let us assume that now k is equal to 6.5. If I substitute k is equal to 6.5 in this element, substituting for k is equal to 6.5, let us see what happens. So let us substitute for k is equal to 6.5 in the first element of s to the power 1, 0 
minus 0 0.1 in the place of k let me substitute 6.5 so 6.5 divided by 0 0.65 hence 0 0.1 into 6.5 I, I get 0 0.65 0 0.65 minus 0 0.65 this becomes 0 so this first element becomes 0 and if you inspect this complete row this is a complete zero row that is a special case two with respect to routes criterion hence we know that if a row is a complete zero row we use to take the previous row as an auxiliary polynomial and represent it as a of s and you could able to recall that we used to equate a of s is equal to zero and if you find the roots of that auxiliary polynomial few of the roots will be appearing on the imaginary axis which means that the moment when you try to substitute for k is equal to 6.5 the row has become completely zero and we could able to see some roots on the imaginary axis which is making the system to be as marginally stable hence i can write k margin equal to 6.5 in this case and now we have to represent the auxiliary polynomial and find out the roots on the imaginary axis. The marginal value of k is the value which makes any row other than s to the power 0 as row of zeros. So any row can be made as a marginal value of k. So as said now, we are equating it with 0. That is exactly the s to the power 1 row has been equated it to 0. Hence, we have obtained k margin is equal to 6.5. As I told you before, to find the frequency, we have to find out the roots of the auxiliary equation at marginal value of k. Hence, we have to write the auxiliary polynomial from the previous route array. Hence, a of s will be equal to 0 0.65 square plus k equal to 0. So if you simplify the roots by substituting for k is equal to 6.5 that is a marginal stable condition we get a square is equal to minus 10 that is s is equal to plus or minus j 3.162. Comparing this expression with s is equal to plus or minus j omega it is very clear that the frequency of oscillation omega equal to 3.162 radian per second and this is a different problem in which we are supposed to find out the range of k and apart from that we have to find the value of k at which the system is becoming marginally stable and also we have to find the frequency of oscillation that is omega In today's session, we have discussed about the applications of routes criterion with respect to relative stability analysis and determining the range of k. And we solved few example problems also. And in addition to that, we discussed about determining the range of k at which the system is becoming marginally stable and finding the frequency of oscillations. In the next lecture, let us get introduced to root locus and let us discuss about the rules involved in root locus. Thank you.